Here's another breakdown of the uh, modular synth modules. Uh, this is the MIDI to CV converter. Um, it is, as the name would suggest, uh, it uh, takes inbound MIDI signals um, from a sequencer or from anything else that drives MIDI signals and uh, it basically handles the uh, note on note off and gate velocity for uh, for notes um, and it also deals with clock as well so it basically takes the MIDI signal decodes that and essentially outputs a series of uh, gate or, or CV values so gate for the note on note off uh, a gate signal for the clock pulse and then a gate signal for the reset um, the note and velocity are CV values so basically 0 to, to 10 volts and they are effectively used to drive other parts of the modular synth um, the LEDs are just largely for indication purposes uh, and then we've got a switchable um, clock um, resolution rate so we get from uh, I think it's quarter note, eighth note and sixteenth note uh, depending on, on what your clock signal is that's driving it. It's quite nice for sort of mixing up some of the uh, effects particularly for driving uh, an inbound MIDI signal onto a step sequencer for example you may want to have a, a low or higher resolution. Um, around the back it is fairly much uh, or pretty much all IC based uh, so from the top to the bottom, rather that way around, because I <laughs> wired it up inverted, uh, we've got the Opto Isolator, which is used for the MIDI receive. Uh, we've got an 80 mega uh, 328 chip, which is basically the core uh, microprocessor of the circuit. Uh, that's where the software is embedded within the module. Uh, and then we've got the uh, MCP4922 uh, DAC converter, which basically takes the uh, digital output from the uh, from the 80 mega and converts that into a zero to five volt voltage range. Um, and last but not the least, we've got a small TL72 op amp, which is basically buffering the outputs for the uh, velocity and the note, um, but also for the for the note uh, CV output, they're also doing a little bit of scaling as well, <coughs> which is managed by that potentiometer there. I think it's roughly a scale value of 1.7. Um, and what that essentially allows or ensures happens is that the output uh, or the CV output for the note is uh, it, it basically aligns to the um, one volt per octave uh, standard, which is what modular synths work to. Um, beyond that, it's a relatively simple circuit. Um, the only other sort of discrete components, you've got a, a dip switch there, which is uh, you know, uh, eight, eight bit, which allows you to set the uh, MIDI uh, channel, so zero, to, uh, sorry, one, one to fifteen, and um, and and omni if you want to use omni mode. Uh, there's a FDTI header there for programming, which is quite useful. Just plug a head, a, a programming header into that whenever I need to uh, update the software, uh, and the rest of it is pretty much resistors and caps. There's a, uh, a crystal oscillator there for the uh, 18 mega chip. Just keep the timing site uh, timing sequel uh, timing sequence nice and uh, nice and crisp. Um, but that's it really. I mean, electronics wise, it's reasonably straightforward. Most of the cleverness is actually within the software that we've blown onto the chip itself. Um, I'll, uh, I'll fire it up into the rack in a second and uh, we'll show how it all works and hangs together. This is the envelope generator module. Um, fairly simple task. Uh, it's designed to essentially create a, an attack and release envelope, so not a full blown envelope. Uh, ADSR one but just attack and release um, this fairly simple circuit around the back again again it's you know standard euro euro rack uh, dimensions it's fit into a 4 HP uh, width module usual uh, crude design on the back with a bit of vera board and, and some ropey soldering um, and this actual module itself is based largely around the TL 40 uh, sorry TL 72 uh, op amp um, which is essentially acting as a comparator. So it's uh, you know the the the, the attack is um, go or rather the, the attack potentiometer on the front is governing how quickly the capacitor decharge or, or charges up and then the release is, de is is determining how quickly it discharges. So effectively by controlling these two here, you either get a very very crisp attack with it very low, or if you increase the attack. Uh, you get a nice slow transit like a string instrument for example and then likewise on the release if you leave the the release down really low you get a very 
abrupt cut off and if you turn it up you get a nice softer release uh, which is which is which is ideal for uh, giving the uh, the waveforms a little bit more texture um, in terms of the other sort of controls in the front um, this one again is very simple you've got a, a gate in which typically comes from note on note off um, <clears throat> and the envelope out which is a CV output of 0 to 10 volts so effectively depending on what you set these to the uh, the output signal will, will rise from 0 volts to 10 volts based upon the attack rate and then drop down from 10 volts to uh, 0 volts again based on the release value and that way you get that sort of smooth uh, attack and release transient. Right so we have the uh, the T units in the rack now so the CV converter on the left and then the envelope generator on the right. I'm going to actually demo these at the same time because logically it makes a bit more sense in terms of how it uh, how the signal flows. Um, so we go back to basics. We've got uh, an output for mixer going into the audio interface uh, and therefore if I turn that up you should hear a fairly boring pulse wave sound. Not particularly exciting. Um, and then to kind of give that a little bit of interesting color um, we've got the MIDI CV converter plugged into a regular MIDI keyboard so if I hit a note you should see the gate open and close as I play the note so if I patch the note CV into the uh, note CV input on the uh, on the VCO you should be able to hear the note change So C octave. So that's fairly uninteresting in its own right. It just shows you that the uh, note velocity is coming from the sorry the the note value is coming from the CV converter and going into the VCO. Uh, we're not doing anything with the gate at the moment, which which is quite quite boring. So. Let's now hook this into the envelope generator and show how that hangs together. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the gate output, put that into the gate in, and you'll see that if I play a note now, not only is the gate light there flashing, but the envelope light is flashing there as well. So that's good news. And if I then take the envelope output, and I'll briefly just run this into the VCA just for demonstration purposes. And it, uh, uh, you know, at this point, I'll do a bigger breakdown on what the VCA does. So if we take the output from mixer, I'll put that into the into the VCA output. We'll chain the envelope output from the envelope generator into into the CV input of the VCA. And what this is effectively doing is this is telling the VCA, the voltage control amplifier, to to open and close based upon the envelope profile here. Uh, so unsurprisingly you can't hear anything at the moment because the the envelope is closed. So the final step in the jigsaw puzzle is just to take the out of the mixer. In fact we'll just choose the triangle way because it's a bit softer for the moment and we'll patch that into the VCA input. So again you won't hear anything at the moment so if I press a note on the keyboard then you immediately start to hear a, a tone. And what's actually happening is the gate is opening and closing. That's forcing the envelope to then generate an, an envelope. That envelope in turn is used to basically send the control voltage signal, so 0 to 10 volts, into the voltage controlled amplifier. So at the moment, if I turn these all the way down and play a note, you'll get a very abrupt stop and start. And if I then increase the rate you'll hear a nice uh, increase the uh, sustain uh, the release rather you'll hear a nice sort of roll off sound so rather like a sustain pedal on a, on a piano uh, if I then turn the attack up then that will give me a bit more of a softer attack a little bit like a set, set of strings so if I try and hit the note briefly you don't hear much but if I push and hold the note can hear the envelope start to open slowly as the note starts to swell. 
and that's basically it really that is the the core gut um, the envelope is quite useful um, as a way of shaping and controlling other things um, you know we can we can take the, uh, the, the the gate input from other sources for example as a, a step sequencer or we could even get things to modulate itself I mean this is the, the whole brilliant stuff about uh, modular sensors you can just connect many things to many other things um, in fairly infinite variations so um, with that in mind I'll kind of wrap up there because that's pretty much the sum total of how the MIDI to CV gate works and how the envelope generator works so we can get some notes and then uh, in the next uh, video I'll, uh, I'll start to talk about the voltage control amp uh, voltage control filter uh, which then adds even more shape to the sound and starts getting a bit more punchy a bit more interesting so for that I shall wrap up there see you next time